Hey, it's Edge here. Today we're taking a look at technical analysis for Bitcoin. I'll cover wave analysis with the to a theory and provide multiple scenarios price may take and explain why I prefer one count over another. Let's take a look at the different possibilities. Again, quick brief look into the higher time frames to see where we are at. Um, main scenario is this one at the moment where we have this as an ABC and this would be completing something. However, if we are going to be taking out these lows here, this is going to be invalidating this whole idea of this being a wave 5 um, and then we would be looking at something else. The previous primary count was this WXY in which we would be still expecting this WXY inside here to be completed. Uh, within this wave Y of minute degree uh, we would be expecting this ABC to end here as well. Uh, at the moment however this wave B is so large compared to previous wave structure um, of wave X um, on higher degree that is more likely that this is indeed something else uh, rather than this. I haven't figured out a good looking count at the moment which would explain why this B wave is so much larger than this possible X wave here if we are going to be taking out these lows. Um, but we'll get to that if I can find a proper better looking count rather than this one. But today again we're going to be focusing more on this local price action to see if we can get some trades going on. Um, so overall we had a couple of different uh, invalidation levels here uh, that we had. One of them was this one uh, bullish scenario in which we would have this as a wave 1, 2 uh, and then again this would be the uh, either the C wave or the third wave. In here we would have this as 1, 2, 3, and 4. Well 4 is now uh, already overlapping with wave 1 here. Uh, let me zoom in so we can actually see. Let's remove that one. And again yeah this was not really a surprise to anybody probably. Uh, we did go beyond the 0.5 already here so at that point we were already doubt doubting this count quite a lot and that's why I had another bullish count made. Before looking at that, however, let's take a look at the other bearish count, uh, which was as well invalidated. Um, this was a secondary idea in which we had this as a W, X and where Y would not have completed down up here. And instead we would have been expecting higher wave Y. At this point again, uh, we would have this uh, as a wave A, B and C into W, then X and then again A and then B and C. However, we have now taken out the lows that we had in for this five-way structure labeled as A. So that means that again, this whole structure is invalidated and this idea is no, not unnecessary. Now let's go through again the ones that we still have as valid. And again, for the bullish scenario, either we have a wave one or A, B or two, and then C or I don't think this is a third. Well, it can't be a third because we are already back into the previous wave one area here. Um, so it has to be a lower degree one. So what makes this less likely is again, the fact that we have gone beyond the one-to-one -one extension here, um, which means that a lower degree wave structure here would be larger in price than a higher degree one. So that makes it less likely overall. Uh, however, we can still have a look at this. So overall, we have two ideas or two uh, possibilities here. One is saying that we have ended the higher time frame C here, in which we would have this as one, two, three, four, five. The other scenario is that we have only ended with one of micro here. Uh, I haven't changed the labeling here, as we have still this C wave here, which in which we have the proper labeling or proper degrees in here for but again it is possible that wave one of micro is just here and we would be looking for through a pullback for possible wave two and then higher prices at the moment again we have right come back right into that golden pocket um, in here where we have an order block here as well um, prices has already visited once um, very deep retracement here and now it looks like it is visiting again um, for this wave 2, uh, it is possible that we have this as a WXY into W. We fail to get to the 1 to 1 extension here. Um, why I'm uh, labeling this as a WXY is just because of this structure here. It is possible to label this as a 3 wave 
uh, sorry, a five way as well, saying that we have a one, two. This would be a three, four, and five. However, I really can't find a good looking one, uh, five way structure in here for this probable or possible three way or third way, sorry. Um, so that's why I'm labeled this as a WXY instead. Doesn't really matter though. Uh, overall structure would be a three way structure here. Uh, then some kind of three way move into X, and then again, a three way move for the way Y here. Uh, a, B, and C, this looks pretty good as a zigzag pattern for the way Y to complete the way two down here. So yeah, that is basically the area I would be looking for longs uh, at the moment. Um, yeah. Then the bearish scenario um, would be again still the same. Uh, main bearish idea in which we have already topped at the way Y here. Um, the way Y would be A, B and C in which again we would have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 into 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 into 3 and then again 5 waves and this last would be an ending uh, contracting diagonal. Um, yeah, that's it. Uh, then let's take a look at the structures we have here. If we are not going to be having this as a um, the structure that I showed you on the bullish case in which we would have this as a, as a WXY, uh, we would look at some other possibilities. As we had that as a bearish case, we could be looking into possibilities of this being an impulse wave downwards. And for that, we had two different ideas or one idea last time. Um, now I've created another one called impulse as well, uh, which could be a bit, a bit more probable than this one. Now, last time we were talking about this being a five way move here into the possible way one, and then we were looking for higher um, retracement here. Either we are going to be taking out this previous wave four in which we would have a better looking wave two, or this structure here is not finished. And instead we would have this as a uh, some kind of ABC like so. But again, we can't get to the one to one extension here uh, around 21.2k area in which wave 3 would be smaller than wave 5. As this is a contracting diagonal we need all the sub subsequent wave structures to be smaller than the previous, meaning again the wave 5 needs to be smaller than wave 3. That is no longer the case or we can't have it ending down here, so instead we have to be placing the wave 5 here. I it is possible to have it here, but again, if we are comparing this structure to any of the previous ones um, within the, or just looking at the uh, structures itself, we can see that it is very small in time. So that's why I'm not really preferring that. And with this, if we had to place the wave two here, or wave five here, we would have to have this as a wave two here. Uh, which is again a very very small retracement. We are not even close to the 38.2. Are we even close to the 23.6? Well, close-ish, but again, not even there. So it is very less likely that this is indeed a wave two of this degree. And for those reasons, I want to create another um, another bearish idea in which we would have this original idea where we had this as a diagonal here into the possible wave one. 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5, a contracting leading diagonal. Very common nowadays, at least on smaller time frames. Then we would have this as an ABC into wave 2, go beyond the point or golden pocket, but that is fine. Um, then we would have another uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Actually, this was again the same issue we had <laughs> on the previous one. Uh, why well, did not like it as an impulse? So again, we would have this as a one, two, somehow one, two, three, four, five into third, fourth, and fifth. That would create us a wave one here. So again, the same issue of having to have this as a five wave. Otherwise, if we are looking at this as a three wave, uh, we would have to have a very large um, diagonal in here. Um, but I don't see that happening because wave one of larger degree again is this size. And I don't think this would be any, it doesn't make sense to me to have that larger structure being wave one of lower degree. In any case, we would have this as a wave two here, then again, one, two, and this probably could be a wave three. However, it is quite small in comparison. 
Um, so it is possible that this indeed is just a one, two, three, four, and then we would be looking for wave five down here, uh, possibly around the 1.618 here overall, um, as that is the higher time frame target. Um, that would mean an extension here on the fifth. I'm not quite sure if this is part of it or whether this is indeed uh, a one, two, three, four, and five completed as such, but again, does not really have extensions here and the wave five here would be very small comparison to in anything else before it. So I wouldn't be too surprised if it go down. Again, however, we have that support here as the golden pocket if we are looking at the bullish count. So it is possible that we are indeed now going to be uh, creating, or this is indeed that third wave and we would be doing something like this for the wave four and then one more low, take out the liquidity below these lows uh, below the golden pocket and then we could be getting higher again um, but we'll see we'll see what happens again at that point we would be looking for that third oh sorry fourth and fifth here and then that would complete the third of sub micro and then again back to these areas of four wave four and then wave five here um, of course that depends on all the extensions inside so it is um, a bit difficult to say where and how we're going to be getting down to these lower numbers. Again, for this wave one, two, we have the 1.618 already here at 20.6K, which would be taking out these current lows um, here and the liquidity. More well, liquidity down here and here, and of course down here. Um, but we'll see how, how long it takes if this is going to be playing out. I'm still remaining in my Bitcoin short. I might take a long here if we are going to get some kind of good looking five way structure from these lows uh, per the bullish count um, in which again we are expecting this to be a wave two. If we are going to be puncturing through these two support levels we have the 786 here but again it is not really um, at any support or structural support here so I would be expecting us to roll over and this is no longer a good looking wave structure for that possible wave one and again if we are going to go below this golden pocket it is more likely that this is again not that wave one and two it is in that sense a, uh, a very weak structure for the bulls but those are the ideas that I have at the moment for Bitcoin um, if you made it this far into the video, I would appreciate the likes. Link to my free Discord server in the description below. And for now, I thank you for watching and hope you have an amazing rest of your day. See you in the next video. Bye bye.